literally just getting back home. I just went and picked up my package. They delivered my package. Well, they tried to. They came to my house early in the morning and they say that they um, tried to deliver it, but I was talking to them um, outside, outside the door and well, nobody responded and it was hella early and it was a man. So I'm a woman, my roommate's a woman. We wasn't answering the door, it was hella early. And I didn't answer it, she did. So I had to go pick it up. So let's see, sorry I'm moving around. I gotta, I'm got. i doing a lot right now. But let's see what this dress look like. Let me turn on this light for y'all. Work with me. Oops, that was the one. Let's make it brighter. Turn the light. Okay. Let's see. Sorry about my bed, y'all. I really need to make it. I washed my sheets last night. But yeah. Let's see. I'm on a juice fast. So if y'all see if y'all see them juices right there, it's because I be hungry. And yeah, I be hungry. And I'm juicing. So in the middle of the night, I be getting juices. So let's see what I got. Oh, they actually wrapped it this time. So I went to the post office. Let me tell you about this package before I open it. I went to the post office on December 3rd is when I got my house of CD package. And when I got it, it was too big. I ordered a medium and this time I ordered an extra small, nowhere near extra small, um, but it was too big. It was a bandage dress and it was too big. And I should have known better because it's not my first house of CB dress. And I got a medium the last time and it was too big. But anyway, I did it. So when I sent them the, when I went and resent the package on the third, let me let my dog out. I'll be right back. He'll pop up when he's ready. Yep, oh, here he comes. So when I sent them my package on the third, today is the 5th of January. I sent it on December 3rd and I'm just not getting my package. So when I sent it, sorry, when I sent it to him, um, that was on the third and I was like, cool. I paid for express shipping with the insurance and all of that. And it was supposed to get to them that was the first week it was supposed to get them get to them the following week. So that was a Thursday. I'm sorry. That was a Thursday. And it was supposed to get to them on Tuesday. And I called them on like that Friday or Thursday. And I was like, you know, where my package at? And they were like, oh, we haven't received it yet. So I'm like, okay, holiday season. Probably, probably ain't got it yet. So I was like, okay, cool. So then the third week came and i'm like where the hell is my package because at this point you know I, I ain't got nowhere to go but i just wanted my package at this point so i called house of cb again i had reached out to them because you know they don't have a number i reached out to them twice and the first time they didn't respond and the second time they was asking me for the tracking number i lost it by the third week i lost it so during the third week, I went to back to the post office by my house and I stood in a line for an hour. Literally, I stood in a line for an hour. And the lady, um, there were two people there, cashiers there. And one of them had stepped away because she was doing a passport or whatever. And she, you know, you gotta take a picture and everything. So I went to, uh, I went to the other lady, stood in the line, went to the other lady and she was like, oh, you have to talk to the lady or the, she said the person, you got to talk to the cashier that helped you. I was like, oh, is she helping them? She was like, you got to wait. So I was like, cool. 
another 15 to 20 minutes because they couldn't figure out how to work the camera. Finally get to the line and I'm talking to the lady. I'm like, hey, you rung me up on December 3rd. I lost my tracking number and I need it. <laughs> and she t proceeds to tell me, oh, well, we don't keep track of the numbers. If you would have um, bought it today, I would have been able to find it. And I'm like, so what do I pay insurance for? Because at this point, we three weeks in and my package ain't there. And she said, well, I don't know. I can't track it. So, you know, I'm like, well, I need to talk to a manager. I need to talk to a manager because at this point, I'm like, I don't believe that y'all don't keep track of numbers. I just don't believe it because I could be sending drugs in um, the mail and you guys would have to know that I sent it and where my address is and blase blase. So I don't believe that. So I stood there and then she finally comes back and she's like, oh, the manager isn't available. So I'm, I'm upset at this point and I'm trying not to snap or whatever. And so after that, uh, I was like, so you ain't got nobody I could talk to? She was like, no, I'm sorry. I said, so you don't have nobody. So I asked for the 800 number or whatever. And you know, I left cause I was pissed off at this point. So I left and that was during the third week. So, oh, so before I lost it, let's go there. Before I lost the package, I had, um, I checked the second week and it was in Puerto Rico. That's when I went to the post office. My package was supposed to go to California, but it's in Puerto, it, it was in Puerto Rico. I'm in Chicago. I don't understand. There's, there's two separate directions. How did that happen? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, so um, the man came yesterday and I didn't answer the phone. So I went to go pick up my package and it's finally here. When I first got it, they didn't even give me like the packaging, the cute packaging or anything. I was highly upset because, you know, when you spend a little extra money because House of CD is not cheap. You spend a little extra money, you be wanting your cute packaging because you would be wanting to keep it. And, you know, every year for me, I put all like my Gucci dusters, my Gucci bag, um, my House of CB, Polo, all of that I put in, um, I put underneath the tree just cause it looked cute. I don't really put the gifts underneath there, but I put my little boxes, you know, look like a bougie bitch with my white Christmas tree. So I actually can show that to y'all in a second, but yeah. So, London, you want to say hey? I think London want to say. Come on. Ugh. He getting big. Say hey. Say hey. Mm, look at this cute little Christmas sweater, y'all. Okay, so you gotta get down. Anyway, so this is my hostage CD dress. I'm super excited. I wanted this dress so bad. If y'all know me or when y'all get to know me, I love color black. And I love a nude on like a dark girl, which is like a tan toe or a chocolate i'll do chocolate so anyway let's open my house of cb guys let's see how cute it looks i should do a try on i should okay they exchange a little thank you for your purchase now i don't know if i can fit my big old booty in this house of cb dress but we definitely are going to see. This is the Dominica. Did I say that already? The Dominica dress. Oh, it's so bomb. I think I'll be able to get into that. But. Yes, y'all, this is the dress. It's super long, no split, super sexy, great for a date night. Uh, I'm gonna try it on for y'all, give me a second. This dress is bomb, baby. It looks good, it looks good. Let me show y'all. I wish y'all could see the whole thing, but do y'all see, do y'all see this, honey? Curves, I can't get it up without help, but y'all get, y'all see the vibes. Y'all see the vibes, can't get it up, but. 
Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. The stress is everything. It curves. It hugs it all, honey. And it hugs it well. I am giving body, okay? The category is body. Yes, ma'am. I'm feeling this. I might go back and buy it in every color. I'm not even gonna hold you. But that's why I love House of CB. Not even just House of CB. I love anything that is a bandage dress. Like when I say anything, I mean anything. I'm gonna show y'all my other House of CB dresses. One I'm not gonna put out. I'll try the other one on for y'all so you can see what I'm talking about in size. But where is my house of CB dress? Girl, I think somebody. My cousins like to steal my clothes, so I think my cousin got my other house of CB dress. But I'ma insert it, a picture of it inside the. Uh, inside here but as you can see this one was i think uh what size was this this one was a small now this one i will say it fits super super tight i did like this one my hips kind of did give it out just a little bit but this one was super tight but the like a full bandage no cut open i would definitely like i normally would order a medium but this is an extra small and it fits perfectly like when i get it zipped up this fits perfectly perfectly oh my goodness this looks great oh my goodness wow Ugh. Ooh. I love when this painted on honey and i might throw this on with some with my chinese laundry laundry heels i really like to like match completely so i wanted the new louboutins in this color but they sold out i got my black ones and i got my new ones so i might wear these because i have a pair of brown ones but i don't feel like they really match you know got a little mark on them but i don't feel like they really match i feel like that changed the whole dynamic uh the dress let me take this off but yeah let me take this off i'll be right back guys yeah guys so i'm just getting back my roommate and i um we did the homeless event too so we feed the homeless people near us every week we cook them meals and we we take them food so this week that we did uh what so yeah this week we did uh, bagels, some got Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, so we did bagels, Dunkin' Donuts, um, eggs, grits, and turkey bacon. Last week we did baked chicken, green beans, dressing, and a roll. Next week we're gonna do shrimp and grits. So, you know, I'm gonna start taking you guys with me. I'm trying to get familiar with how like the vlogging and story time goes. So I know this one was short. I promise you the next ones will be a little longer. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to, you know, go on and edit this video, get my life together, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.